Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissue, salam alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Chesh, Nyakshimash. So today I am doing a video by popular request, which is the dishwasher that you can see here. And the doggies are going to keep me company for the beginning of the video, but then I'm sure they will just scootle off back down there to their bed. So this is an Indoset dishwasher and it is three years old. Now I have to admit when it comes to the dishwasher I am pretty much an end user as in I do take care of it and use products on it that I do like but I am pretty much just bung it on, switch it on and if one of the lights comes on then I'll put in rinse aid or salt but I will always use salt. Uh, and rinse it in the machine because I live in a hard water area and it would get wrecked very very quickly. Now we have had a dishwasher since we were a kid. Uh, the first one we had was a Hoover Crystal Jet and that was due to the free flights that were going on. Yes, the free flights fiasco. We were part of that. So my mum and dad bought a Hoover Crystal Jet dishwasher I can't remember how much it cost, I think it was about £200, that kind of like rings a bell and that's back in the 80s and we did get our flights, actually we did get our flights, uh, we went to Malaga for Christmas but uh, it did take a bit of a while but we did get them in the end so it did work out fine for us unfortunately. So since then, um, I've become a dishwasher addict, really. I really can't live without my dishwasher. I know that sounds a bit kind of like bougie, but the thing about it is, is it's just so easy. There's only the two of us, but we go through so much washing up with cooking every day, tea, coffee, uh, the dog bowls, because we use these little metal, um, plain stainless steel dog bowls, and the cat bowls, they're all the same and after every meal they get washed, they get dishwashed, so they have a fresh bowl for every single meal. That's six bowls a day at least with the three cats and the three dogs. So the dishwasher is on and over the past two weeks this dishwasher has been hammered. I can tell you we've had friends up, I've been cooking and it's been on. I think there was one day this week it was on like four times during the entire day with all the cooking that I've been doing. So, I've got the information here because I have the memory of a goldfish, the others have gone off, bye! And so is Millie, okay, she doesn't love me. So this is an Indoset DFG15B1KUK. It is 1900 watts maximum and it was made in Italy. And like I said, we've had it for three years, so I had to write down the information because I didn't even know where to look for the information. It is actually in the side here. So I'm an end user of a dishwasher. I guess I could take better care of it on the outside. I do wipe it over every couple of weeks, but it is in desperate need of a little bit of a clean on the edges on the inside, which you will see. So please don't judge me. I have not cleaned this up specifically for the video. I just wanted to show you that I am really more of an end user when it comes to a dishwasher. If it breaks, we replace it and that's about it when it comes to dishwashers. So this one we had in black to match the fridge and the cooker. Uh, so we had the three appliances that match together. And uh, I think we bought this in Curry's online three years ago. Had it delivered, they took the old one away, we paid to have the other one recycled, they took it away, goodbye, and hello, new dishwasher. I am not a fan, really, of the colour because it does show up dust and stuff a lot. So what we will see is, first of all, we will give it a bit of a clean, and then I'm going to move on to the products. Well, actually, I'm going to do the products first because I've got them inside, the machine is empty, and it needs to go on a cleaning cycle. So we're going to do a cleaning cycle with it first of all. So let's have a look and see what products I use on it. So I'm just going to reposition the camera and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so as you can see on the inside, I have brought all the products that I use with the dishwasher. First of all, we'll move to the salt. I use the finished salt um, only because I buy it on Amazon 
subscribe and save so I get money off with all these products actually and I have them set up to automatically come to the house every month, two months, three months, four months, five months, salt six months. I save 15% on the price um, but yes um, I do also use other products as well. I mean you can buy them, the home brand from Asda and um, Aldi and Lidl's and Sainsbury's, they all do their home brand salt. At the end of the day, it's only dishwasher salt. But because it's part of my subscribe and save, that I save 50% off the product, so I buy them. Finish one. So that is the salt. The other thing I do use as well is the Finish Shine and Protect um, Rinse Aid. Again, only because I find it does give a slightly better finish to glasses than the home brand products. So I again, all of these items I buy on subscribe and save and save 15%. So that is the finish shine and protect. It does have a very nice smell to it. it smells of fairy liquid actually. Uh, next, the air freshener. I have one here that you can see that I recently put in. Again, subscribe and save. So this is the finish air freshener. This does make a big difference when you open up the machine. It just smells very nice. Then when it comes to cleaning the dishwasher, which I'm going to do today because it does need doing it. Again, Lemon Sparkle Finish Dishwasher Cleaner. So what you have to do is just peel off that, put it in the dishwasher, put it on an intensive wash and voila. So what I'm going to do is leave that upside down because you put it in upside down like that. So I'm going to leave that settle there upside down. Actually, that's how I'm going to do. I'm going to take this little plastic thing off. There we go. Ready so I can just pop it in the machine when I do the video. Uh, next, uh, finish. Supercharged Quantum Max Superior Clean Shining. Again, I have used lots of different types of dishwasher tablets, powders, liquids, all those kinds of things, um, home brand ones, but I just didn't find that they really, really, oh, there's a knife in there. Oh yeah, because it hasn't been cleaned, I'll take that out. Um, because it, it just didn't do a, an extremely good job, in my opinion, when I was, when I do it because I do a lot of baking and I do a lot of um, grilling frying casseroling that kind of stuff and I do find that this finished power ball does give a very nice um, it really does work it really does give it a good clean and also which I have here which I forgot when I do need something a little bit a boosty if I've been doing something burnt on I will add a little bit of this deep clean powder uh, with soak in action so I will just put there's something else in there at the moment it's empty but I just wanted to show you the packaging I do just put a little bit of this powder in if I think that it needs an extra boost so that is all the products what we're going to do now is take a look at the machine let me just put that back and I'm going to bring you right down and we'll have a close look at this machine Okay, so here we are. This is the outside of the dishwasher. It is in a lovely jet black deep gloss finish. It looks very smart in the kitchen and it blends in really well with the other appliances that I have. There are five washes on it. Eco, Intensive 65, Normal 55, Rapid 50 and Pre-Wash. Over here we have the on and off button. Oh, I just turned it off, bit of a delay. Du, du, du. And it all lights up and that will uh, glow on and off for when you want to put it on start. This is the washing button. When it's washing, it tells you it's washing. This is the drying and then it beeps, uh, makes a beepy beepy noise. When it's ended, that light comes on. And this one comes on to tell you when there is not enough salt in there and that will tell you to refill the salt, that's the off and off button. Very, very simple, the buttons on it, one, two, three, four, five, you can't go wrong, very, very simple to use. I have used the eco button once or twice, it did take longer and it didn't do an extremely good job on it. Normally, I have to say, I normally put it on intensive, 80% of the time it's on intensive wash, 
normal, but I hardly ever put it on rapid. I do sometimes put it on pre-wash, but I rinse the dishes off really well. I will only use the pre-wash if I think that um, there's something possibly stuck to it that I can't get off, and maybe a pre-wash will kind of like help it, a bit of a rinse, but I do sometimes use that, but most of the time it is on an intensive wash. Now, let's open her up. We have two drawers. Bottom drawer slides out onto the door. We have a cute little dish cutlery rack. You can have it this way to put your um, individual, which is quite good. I normally have one side up like this and then this side down then for the larger in utensils, which I can't do now. Great. What have I done wrong? Oh, there we go. Put that back. The thing I do, don't like about this dishwasher that I could do with my other one is on my other dishwasher, oh that's a bit out of kilter, there we go, just make sure my prongs are in the right position, um, is you could fold these down, which was fantastic because if I was doing my crock pot and uh, my slow cooker pot and all those things, I could fold these down and then I could easily place the big uh, pot in there upside down and uh, without any issues unfortunately this one doesn't have that feature and if I'm cooking if I'm having to wash something which is like my big cauldron saucepan it can be a right pain to actually get it to fit in because these get in the way if I'd have known back then I don't think I would have picked this one or I didn't realize how handy it was to be able to flatten these down. There are some dishwashers where you can flatten the whole thing, which is fantastic. So my next dishwasher definitely must have that feature again because I really do miss that. Very simple, we just have the arm underneath, we have the salt refill, and then this comes out to be cleaned, which we will take a look at. Top drawer, very simple, very strong, no issues. One bar that spins across here. There is one rack in two separate parts that you can have on different heights for doing small little ramekin dishes or your um, ladles and stuff like that or whatever you want to use. Or you can fold them down and put them back like so. Again, nothing in here folds down. Very simple to adjust the height, there's just two buttons on the side and it goes up and push it in like that, oops, there we go, oh, what am I doing here, oh yeah that's for down and that's for up, oh, okay right, okay fine I got it, so in to lower, up stays up automatic, so that is very simple to do, I always have it on the higher one. Uh, never had any reason to lower it so far. Uh, fits in very nice. The inside of it is very, very shiny. It looks very nice. I do keep it clean. It does need an inside wash because I haven't done it for a couple of months. So it is desperately in need of a good clean around the edges. Uh, don't look. It's a bit manky. So we will do that next. Let's take a close look at the inside of it now. Okay, so here we are on the inside. This bottom rack will just come out very easily. We shall put that to one side. The top rack, just like most standard dishwashers, just move them out the way. Actually, you need to put them the other way. Slide out the rack and it comes out very, very easily if needed. And as you can see, it does have a couple of dents on the back there, but the inside of it is really clean and I do put that down to the products quite a lot. Let's check the salt. Now I do have a funnel. This does come with a funnel, but I put the salt in this little container and then I can just pour it in carefully. Just gonna top up the salt. There we go, that is done, bit of a mess but never mind. Uh, when it comes to actually cleaning it, if you want to do anything, it's very easy, this just pops out. This just pops out, and this, twist it, 
See, that could do with a clean. I haven't cleaned this you know, for you, like I said, I wanted to show you. So, I think it's about a year ago was the last time I cleaned this out. Then this just comes out as well. There's a little bit of grime in there, that needs cleaning. So these three bits need cleaning. Uh, the inside of there is absolutely fine. Let me just give it these salt particles. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean these parts up and come back to you. So I've cleaned all the parts that I needed to. They now look lovely and shiny. And I think because I do rinse the dishes thoroughly before I normally put them in the dishwasher, the buildup on this wasn't very bad even after a year. Excuse me. So cleaning this up is not too bad. It seems very easy to put together again once you've done that. Just pop in that mesh there. Now I'm gonna slide in that, that fits in with a twist, and then this other thing, like the guard, clips in very easy. And then this just literally pops in, voila. So that is the inside of it nice and clean. What we need to do now is put the drawers back in. Let me move you back. Excuse the camera work. Now this I do normally find a little bit of a problem. Let's see how it will perform today. One wheel on one side, one wheel on the other side. Excellent. Open that back up. Second rack in, closed, and on the other side. Excellent. Bottom rack goes in like so. So we have topped up the salt. Let's top up the rinse aid. So here we have the compartment for the uh, washing up tablet, and here is the rinse aid. This, you put your tablet in, just close it down. Like, till it, I was gonna say till it clicks, but it's not clicking. It's there you are. And if you need to open it, just push a little button on the side, click. Now we need to put in the rinse aid in here. Now I do find that this dishwasher has a really large capacity for the rinse aid. The dishwashers that they use in work, myself and Verity Lux, every week we make sure there's enough salt and rinse aid in them, and they don't really hold that much rinse aid. I can't remember to the one that I had before, but this one really does hold quite a lot of product in there. So we've done the salt, the rinse aid, is done what we're going to do now is put it on an intensive cleaning cycle so let me just give the outside of this a bit of a wipe and you'll see what I do to clean it I'll do this in fast forward okay that definitely looks better after its little bit of TLC on the outside the black is really shining, it looks very, very nice now. Cleaned all the inside of it, around the edges, very good. I can recommend that you do that quite more frequently than I do. I think I will start have to doing it more frequently because it does look very nice now. So what we have gotta do is put it through a cleaning cycle. So let's move you closer. So there is nothing now on the, out, uh, on the inside of it. It is completely free of dishes. And we are going to use this, which is the Finnish dish dishwasher cleaner. So it says to put it in bottom, upside down, in the bottom rack. So I'm going to pop this in the bottom rack. Like so. Now we're going to close it up. Press the on button. Do do do. Yep, everything's okay. That is now flashing for me to press start. So we are just going to do this on an intensive cycle. Um, I will time how long it takes until the bottom ping. So let's go. So two hours, 25 minutes later, the dishwasher has now finished its intensive cycle. Come on, Zach, do you want to come here? So I need a dishwasher. So it's finished its intensive cycle. I'm just going to turn it off. 
actually, that's off. <laughs> and let's open it up. Ooh. Okay, it smells very, very fresh. The cleaning product has gone through and emptied into its cleaning cycle, so that is now done with. I'll recycle that. Actually, can I recycle it? Uh, yeah, I'll double check. Um, so the dishwasher now looks absolutely lovely and sparkly. Let me bring you down lower and then you can have a look on the inside. That looks absolutely fantastic. Let me just move the light so you can see better. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Sparkling clean. Looking really good. It smells really, really fresh. The whole inside of the dishwasher now is really clean and really fresh. Uh, there's still light left in this air fresh. Um, dishwasher freshener so I'll leave that inside I think I only put that in about a week ago so that'll be fine for another couple of weeks at least I'll keep an eye on it but yes that is the dishwasher cleaned and demoed the next thing I'm going to do now is start loading it up unfortunately so I've got a backlog of dishes now because I've been waiting for this video to do, to do this video so I'm just going to load up everything inside because it all needs washing loads of mugs I'm gonna be doing a cooking video in a few minutes with hubby Lux we're gonna be doing a cooking video together he's not gonna be in it much uh, I'm the one that's gonna be doing most of the cooking so you can fit loads in this dishwasher. I think it's a 12 place setting. I'll have to count actually. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I think maybe it's an eight setting. I'm not really sure how they count it, but anyway, it fits loads. It fits loads, and I do like this little, I do like putting all the teaspoons along the edge there. I do like that, because it seems to keep them all separate and clean very well so this is what i mean about the dog bowls so they get a fresh bowl every meal and then as soon as they finished eating because they all eat together at the same time there's no grazing in this house you have to eat it there quick and uh, otherwise somebody else will get it so they're all pretty good they eat pretty fast and then everything just gets dishwash really quickly so the bowls never get left for days on end. So I've just got some more plates to go in, put the knives in here, separated. Mm -hmm. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on loading it up after we've done the cooking. I'm just going to pop these things here for the slide that in there because we're going to be doing a lot of cooking now there's going to be a lot of dishes so it'll probably get filled up after we finish cooking so what I will do is I'll come back to you once we've got the dishwasher loaded up and I will put it on for you guys um, I'm not going to film it because obviously you can't see anything but I will come back to you at the end when it's all washed so let me get all the cooking done and I'll come back to you in a little while so the cooking has been done and the dishwasher is full. Dog bowls, cooking utensils, everything in there. The um, cooking, the baking thingy-majigs, what do you call it? The uh, cooking pan, baking pans. They've all been uh, put in there as well. I've rinsed off most of the stuff like I normally do. So here I have my Quantum Max tablet going in. And we are going to do this wash on a number three, a normal wash. And let's see how it goes. Let's switch it on. Okay, lights on, everything's going, it's flashing. Let's start the wash. Okay, two hours, 45 minutes late. Oh, actually, no, it was less than that because it was on the um, normal wash. So I think it was about two hours. I didn't time it roughly. 
Uh, and all the dishes now inside are done. They are lovely and sparkling clean. The baking tins, all the food residue has come off them. All the glasses are really, really nice and shiny. It's a bit warm still because it's just finished. But there's no smears or streaks at all. Um, really, I don't get much issues with streaking or whatever because of the products that I use. I think it's really good. So everything smells really nice. It was really good to give it a bit of a clean out as well and run the edges and to put it through a cleaning cycle. So that's done it a world of good. Everything looks amazing and look flawless. So next thing I need to do is put all this stuff away. So I will do that in a minute. But I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please comment, like and subscribe. This is basically all I can do with the dishwasher, so I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!